if I if I look at sort of the making area, for instance, and I'm really actually fascinated by how we learn and and uh, and what we think we're capable of doing. Um, a lot of that, I think, in, in a narrow sense, sometimes gets driven by role models and people in our lives, like our parents or others that you know uh, we see them and we mo model them. But the internet is sort of giving us access to lots of other people um, and lots of other ways to learn. So I, I think in some ways, like I didn't grow up with a father who spent time in the garage and, and I'm not particularly handy. Um, but uh, the internet almost levels that. You know, I could go on and find a video and it's not my dad, but it's someone else, his dad or someone, a woman teaching me, you know, how to use a, a plasma cutter, you know, <laughs> or something else. And so, uh, uh, a lot of things that were um, passed on in person um, can now almost be passed through media uh, and, and shared through the network. Uh, and uh, we just have, and what's beautiful I think about it is there isn't just one way, I mean, it's like there's not just one book on a subject, there's you know lots and lots of books and online we have lots of different sources. So we can learn from lots of different you know, uh, people about things, uh, how to do things. In some ways, the digital revolution is allowing us to learn faster and change faster, change our own behaviors, change our own you know, lives in meaningful ways. I think it kind of starts with a, what I'd call like a creative impulse. Um, that you have to respect that in yourself. If you have an idea, trust that idea. Act on that idea. Don't dismiss it. Don't say it's not time for that idea, or I'll get to it when I finish college or grad school or when I get a job. You know, I think to engage in in your own mind uh, what you're thinking and what you're doing. So I, I think sometimes students defer that. Um, Either they'll say that I don't know as much as I should to be able to do that. And and I think part of where I see the maker movement influence of people is that think and act like an amateur. Don't wait to be a professional. Right? Um, that getting started doing something, even like I say like it's a musical instrument, you cannot learn a musical instrument unless you play badly for a long time. Right? So you're going to have to go through that. But that's good, um, and that you acquire uh, capabilities as you practice and can engage more. So I think anything that you want to do, you have to do it, not just think about it. Um, and uh, so that kind of passivity should, you know, be replaced by activity and action. Um, apathy should be replaced by agency. Uh, so uh, I don't care what it is you do. Um, but if you focus a bit on the process of doing it, you'll get better at doing it, and you'll do it more often.